everybody's friend It's Tyler It's your only black friend Because your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He's Bob and Richard Pryor So just sit and stare It's everybody's friend It's Tyler It's everybody's friend It's Tyler The Hufflepuffs at Huffington Post have done it again, and this time, they're claiming that the Oscars is racist because reasons. In the 89-year history of the Academy Awards, there have been over 1,500 acting nominations. Of those, only 16 nominations have recognized Asian actors. You heard that right. 16 ever. The Hufflepuffs clearly don't care about data here. Whites make up 60% of the population, Blacks make up 12% of the population, and Asians make up 4% of the population. Because there are just so many whites applying for jobs, who do you really expect to be represented in the media? Also, according to the data, Asians are more likely to go to the STEM field than to work at Hollywood. So the main reason why there's not as many Asian actors in Hollywood is due to their own personal choices. Unless you want to propose some sort of affirmative action, then let people do what they want to do. You heard that right. 16 ever in the history of the Oscars and humankind. I just find it so amusing that you're complaining about the Oscars, yet you're not complaining about the Indian Awards or the Chinese Awards or the Japanese Awards. It's almost as if people are complaining about America, yet do not do this shit for these other countries. Let's say, for example, you go to Japan and about 99% of the population is Asian. If the vast majority of Japanese actors are Asian, are you going to accuse the Japanese war show for being racist too? Of course you won't because America is just evil and built on white supremacy and racism. So that's three wins and 13 nominees in 89 years. But this lack of representation extends to the rest of Hollywood. Robbery ladies, kind of gentlemen, pleased to introduce myself. The film industry has a long tradition of casting white actors in Asian roles. I share your taste in women, Target Tai, but not in blood. Farewell, Tartar woman. And while it may seem like things have gotten better, opportunities for Asian actors continue to be whitewashed in favor of Tilda Swinton in Doctor Strange, Emma Stone in Aloha, Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell, or The Good Guys in The Last Airbender. You get the picture. I find it so amusing that he accused movies of whitewashing, yet somehow did not mention the fact that there are some movies that are blackwash. For example, there was a movie in the 70s that was called Andy that actually had a white cast, and then years later, they remade it with a black cast. Another example is The Wizard of Oz. In the 1930 version, they had a white-only cast, yet for the remake, it had a black-only cast. Let's not forget about the black, gay, Hispanic Spider-Man, which, by the way, was originally white. I can play this game, too, just because there are some characters that are replaced by white characters does not mean that, therefore, the movie must therefore also be racist. The main reason why they're remaking these movies with these white characters is because they think that the actors are the best suit for the role. Not to mention, they want to cater to as many people as possible, so they're trying to cater towards whites and minorities by having certain characters. At the end of the day, it's all about the money though, just all about that moolah. But the world we see in films should reflect the real world. It's almost as if movies from different countries don't exist. I mean, movies that are made in China and Japan, I'm sorry you guys, you don't exist. In the words of one of Hollywood's few Asian-voiced, Asian-bodied characters, We've got a long way to go. I personally believe that people should ultimately choose their own path and not have the path determined for them. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.